Hey guys, welcome to the Sit Down with Raya, and today I'm going to be spilling all things tea related. Today on this video, I'm going to be talking about all things Rob and China. Now, on this channel, I'm going to be doing beauty videos, hair videos, fashion videos, lifestyle videos, and I'm going to be doing media videos, which includes like social media, stuff like that. Like, what is in? What are people talking about? Because I happen to enjoy talking about those things. I love spilling tea. I will put it on my resume. My very first video on this segment, which is going to be called The Sit Down with Raya, um, is going to be about the level of pettiness China achieved dating Rob Kardashian. Like, that level of pettiness is like at an all time high. I don't think it can be reached by anybody. Like, it's a scale from 1 to 10. And she exceeded that by about 15 notches. So the reason I'm filming this video is because I happen to aspire to have that level of pettiness. And plus, their whole relationship and how the family is going to be blended is going to possibly be the most confusing thing. So I thought I would help explain it to myself as well as to you guys out there. So keep watching. Rob Kardashian is a Kardashian. He dated Adrian Ballon. It's really all that I um, know about him. I happen to think he is a really cute boy. He's really sweet. For a while now, he's kind of been in hiding. He hasn't been himself. He's gained a lot of weight. And in my opinion, I think that the family kind of gave up on him. So he really didn't have anybody to love on him. His business wasn't booming like his sisters. So he kind of was just in a rut and no one had heard from him in a while. He wasn't really on the show much. Then you have China. China is BFFs with Amber Rose and they're basically like proud hoes. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. But I like them, so don't take that the wrong way and go like crazy in my comment section because I really didn't mean it that way. They're they don't they hate slut shaming, so I love their bodies and they all they both started the same way. Um, China was actually with Tyga, which is Kylie, which is Rob's sister's boyfriend. But Kylie and Tyga have split recently. I don't know if you guys know about that business, but yes, so anyways. Tyga and China have a baby together. Anyways, Tyga and China had a baby named King, who is the cutest baby, like I said. They split, and Tyga went with Kylie. We all know the big shebang. She was underage. She's grown. Tomato, tomato. All of a sudden, Rob and China are seen on her Snapchat. Kind of secretive, kind of just like interpret how you want to interpret it. And a lot of people thought it was a publicity stunt. A lot of people thought she was doing it to get back at Rob. She was doing it to get back at Kylie because everybody knows that Kylie and China were friends as well as China and Kim. They were best friends. And she, a lot of people thought she was doing this to get back at her for taking her man. So that whole thing went down. And I guess the more people saw them on Snapchat, the more authentic the relationship seemed. Um, seen on her Snapchat, she was making Rob laugh, Rob was bonding with King, she was helping him lose weight, getting him in the gym, getting him to eat healthier, she was motivating him, she was, was genuinely motivating him, she made him laugh, they seemed like a happy couple. For the first time, we had actually seen Rob in the public eye in an extremely long time, he was seen commenting on her pictures, um, with cute little emojis, he was seen on her snapchat he went from like hiding himself on her snapchat to like kind of being okay with it I mean, she gradually got him to be more in the public eye and getting himself back out there so i think that is such a good thing to have a woman in your life that motivates you to be a better man so their relationship was definitely not approved by the kardashians there were moments where they like the Media would say that the Kardashians had turned their back on Rob and he's making a bad decision and he's going against his family and how could you do this to us? And I'm just like, if that's true, get over yourself because he's doing this for himself. Obviously, he's not worried about what the media has to say if he literally took a media hiatus or however long he was gone. He does, you guys do all this stuff that is really not appropriate and you're mad about him because he chooses to love who he wants to love. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a load off your self-centered feet. 
I love the Kardashians, but if any of those media things were true and they really did not approve of their relationship, they can get over themselves because a lot of people don't approve of a lot of their relationships. So who are they to call the pot, the kettle, black, to call, you get the drift. <laughs> I completely messed that up, but whatever, like love who you want to love. Then everybody knew that Kylie and China weren't cool and then there was like beef, like shade was being thrown on Snapchat. Let me tell you, shade, shade, shade. I live for shade. And so out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, Kylie and China are posting mirror pics on Snapchat talking about you thought we weren't friends, we've been friends this whole time. And so everybody was like, okay, this is a publicity sign. How in the world can you possibly be cool at somebody that stole your man? Underage is my question. It's either pure maturity or pure publicity stunt. You guys can decide. Because I don't know. The whole thing has been Snapchat, Snapchat. Everything that we've seen from it being a publicity stunt to it being authentic love. And then the wedding ring. The huge, beautiful wedding ring. You can tell it was bought from a Kardashian because... That ring is nice. Kind of strange because they haven't really been dating for that long, but I mean, love has no time. You wanna marry somebody, you marry somebody if you wish to. Then, shortly after the wedding ring, she's pregnant. Yes, China is pregnant with a baby and she's cute. She's rocking the pregnancy. Anyways, as if this whole shebang is going to be confusing, China now has a ring. She's going to be a Kardashian. Her last name is literally going to be Kardashian because the other girls, Kylie, Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, all of them, they're going to get married one day and they're going to, or you know, they are married, but their last names are going to be something else unless they hyphenate it. Whereas China, her last name's literally going to change to a Kardashian. Do you understand that level of pettiness, the amount of thinking? She's going to be a Kardashian. Amongst a group of families that once liked her, hated her, and now they have to like her again. Like, I just, she's a genius. <laughs> she is literally a genius. And she's gonna have a baby that's gonna be a Kardashian. If Kylie and Tyga were still dating at this point, which we never know, they might get back together. They've already done this whole shebang before. Tyga would be the uncle to his son's sibling. Kylie would be the aunt to China's baby. Family gatherings, man. Those are going to be very awkward. <laughs> Top off the wedding ring, the relationship intertwines, and the baby. Rob and China are getting a reality TV show on E! News. It's going to be documenting the birth and the wedding in just the first season and I think that the show is going to be so good. I do think that the show makes the relationship seem like less authentic but I mean it's a pretty talked about relationship and I happen to love them and I think that they do deserve a reality TV show because if I'm watching their snapchats religiously then I will watch the TV show. So basically that is the end of this video. I just really want to talk about whether or not the relationship is authentic or if it's a publicity stunt or if it's just simply china being petty you guys can decide in the comment section i would love to hear you guys thoughts on their relationship thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in another video bye oh shoot my brother called me hey, bro, wow hello i'm just kidding well i saw your night which is on with your little quick chip cup <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah she's a rich bitch <laughs> What's so funny? She's working on me. She's so good. Was she drunk? No, she was just having fun. Oh, girl. Okay, let's not boost here. Can't see the haters because I'm feeling myself. Hey, guys. Welcome to the sit down with Raya. Today, I'm going to be spilling all things tea related.